going on, guys? I'm about to check out Candace Owens. She's giving her opinion on JoJo Siwa, who's been wilding out in these streets. Let's check it out, fam. Let's see what she has to say. <laughs> it's, it's straight nasty out here, fam. JoJo been wilding. Straight wilding. Who shares our values? All right, guys, moving on. JoJo Siwa. Siwa, I always say her last name wrong. Well, it's an important update. She thinks she has nuts. I don't know. I just got to tell you that right away. JoJo Siwa thinks she has nuts. So I've been following her story because I liked JoJo Siwa a lot. She was so cute on Dance Moms. She had the bubbly personality. Candice. What, what the hell are we, how we get into that? How we, that's great. That's the, you know, she wasn't the number one dancer, but she was definitively the, she had the best personality. Like it, it was yeah, no like doubt that that young girl was going to be a star. The cameras loved her and the star she became, she started her own YouTube show. Uh, I think she even dropped some music and all the young girls loved her. And she wore a big ponytail or big bows in her hair. And everybody's parents had to suddenly be paying attention to this young girl on YouTube that their children loved. And then things change. And obviously people go through adolescence. And when you go through adolescence, you're trying to be different. Yeah. And like I said, you know, back in the day, in the 80s, everyone was smoking cigarettes. And then they came after big tobacco with an ad. You know, the adolescent kids were, were skipping school to smoke cigarettes. And then that ended. That ended. Yeah. They really put an end to that, I would say, probably in the 90s. And they may said, smoking is not good. So what do they pick up instead? Well, I think one of the things they picked up was... I mean, they used to put the cigarettes like right by the candy. Right, but they knew what they was doing. Gender ideology, trying to be different, trying to experiment with their sexuality. And yeah. everyone is something. It's all I'll say something. Maybe you're non-binary, maybe you're a lesbian, maybe you're gay, maybe you're transgendered. Maybe you are intersex. There's a lot of letters in there. Uh, and Jojo Siwa came out and she oh, says that she's a lesbian. She doesn't like guys. Okay, fine. I mean, my question is, why does sexuality have to dictate a certain personality? Which is to say that I'm heterosexual, right? There is not that. a prototype for what it means yeah. to be heterosexual. This is how crazy it was. Y'all remember they had candy cigarettes? They had candy Cigarettes, bro. That was an actual thing. Candy sick. Nigga, that's nuts. Heterosexual, what personality you must embody as a heterosexual person. But more and more, there does seem to be these sort of stereotypes that people feel they instantly have to lean into when they declare themselves to be a lesbian or when they declare themselves to be a gay man. And Jojo Siwa is kind of embodying a stereotype of what we think about when you confront a lesbian like you know again this is a stereotype i don't this is not every lesbian does not embody this but she is becoming a stereotype and so here she is she posted this on her tiktok take a listen oh no and she know her fans are like children so that's the crazy i got a little cousin i used to love jojo i was like the singer leave get out just a little too late. Not that kind of girl. She's like, I don't know who you're talking about. I was like, oh, my bad. I used to love the singer JoJo until her record label started blocking her. But anyway, I digress. Yeah, well, like kids love JoJo. She know children are her fan base, and this is what she coming with. It's pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, yeah. You know your name. You okay, she didn't hear her. She said, tell the haters to lick my nuts. There we go. You go, girl. And people applauded. They said, whoa, you got those haters. <laughs> they're going to lick your nuts or something. What are we even applauding? Please just go back to being confident in who you are because that is not how I read what you are doing. I read somebody who is unfortunate. It's nasty. She's trying to do the extreme version of the Molly Cyrus. Molly Cyrus, it, it was done differently. She was wilding, but she was doing some twerking, some sticking her tongue out. 
that was all acceptable because she's actually fine. Joe Joe, on the other hand, looked like Rosie O'Donnell. What? What? Some people might like Rosie. Why are y'all getting mad at me? You getting mad at me because she looking like Roseanne? Hmm? Mad at me? My bad. My bad. I thought we was just being honest. Oh, I got it. I I like Molly. Right. I don't know what the hell she's doing recently, though. Fortunately, I really don't has know. a big platform and has to go through those growing pains with a big platform and doesn't actually feel secure in who she is. I would welcome a conversation with JoJo Siwa. I would love to have her on this show. Please do not take offense. I'm down with Candace Owens. Fix your life. Man, let's get Ayana out of here. Candace Owens. Fix. We're going to have JoJo. Then we're going to get Brittany Renner on there. Then we're going to get a bunch of just OF models and Instagram models and just get them on there can is going to fix their life but just remember that there are tons of young girls that are following you and they are believing in you before i believe you even know who you are and lastly we have former cn crazy shout out to candace owens go and make sure you check out her channel man i highly recommend it check out the video man drop some comments but yeah i think that uh jojo is she's wild Jojo is straight nuts out here in these streets over there looking like Melissa McCarthy. Um, you know, just on her bride maid's flow, but then and acting like it too. And acting like it. That's the worst part. But yeah, I just think that she just it's real corny, man. Like I watched another video where she was like counting how many like shots she take on her birthday. No one cared. Oh, I'm having a drink. Oh, I'm drunk at Disney World. Go home. And why you got a construction outfit for it? You ain't never do construction in your life. She's trying to portray this image. It's crazy. But yeah, I'll rock with JoJo. But tell me what you guys think down in the comment section. Let me know, man. Yeah, she's looking like Rosie O'Donnell. Looking like Rosie. And she do that pose like this. That's Rosie. As Rosie used to love doing that pose on the carpet. Like, Rosie posing for your boxing match, Rosie? What's up?